Hi, welcome to the Django REST framework tutorial. As we know that we already completed the two types of serializers. So there are actually multiple types of serializers like simple serializer, model serializer, hyperlink model serializer, list serializers, last one is the base serializers. As you know, simple serializers and model serializers we already completed. But we need to also discuss about hyperlink model serializer, list serializers and base serializers. These serializers I will discuss maybe after few sessions. The reason we need to export the first views and there is a different types of the views we have it. Let's talk about the different types of views first. Okay. The first one is function based views and class based views generic views and view sets and also we have something called mixins. So I'm going to talk about these views one by one and using our uh, data whatever we are building in, with respect to the mcommerce website. Okay. So coming to the first one the view types first one is function based views. The function based views actually when you want to uh, create the API for that we need to use the decorator. The decorator name is called the API underscore view. This is we already seen in the previous videos. Either you can use the get method or post method, right? And also there is something called class based views. When you want to implement class based views in your project, we have to use the class, class name, and that class must be inherited from the API view class. So this is object oriented programming, right? you must follow the API view must be inherited for your class and similarly there is another view types like generic views generic views is very easy to use it and very simple and uh, these generic views like you have to create a class again these generic views are class based views and uh, every class okay which you want to use it in implement the generic behavior there is a generic start list create API view, create API view, destroy, and uh, also update API view. There are many API views are there. So we not we need to inherit the uh, API views here basically. And uh, last one is the view sets. This view sets is basically like a kind of actual implementation of a REST framework, which is specifically for the Django REST framework. We will discuss about what is the use of uh, view set and how to create it and is it the way normally we need to call or like we need to use the routers so all these things which we are going to explore it one by one i'm just giving the idea about where we are now what are the serializers so many types of serializers what are the views how many types of the generic views how we can define it i'm going to show you the uh, django rest framework documentation to explore these views little idea to get it let's look into the api guide for the views and the uh, generic views and view sets first let me show you the views here also they mentioned the class based views and function based views and if you look at here okay i need to discuss something here and when you are going to implement the api view and uh, the class must be inherited here and the uh, next thing is there is uh, some predefined uh, the names are there here these variables this free defined variables we are going to use it for authentications and permissions and also there is a get and post method uh, which we can use it and one more important thing is if you little scroll down here there is a different methods are there and there is a function based views we already used in the previous videos we already explored it and we are using the decorator along with the get and post methods okay this is we already seen that uh, and also like uh, okay and if you go to the the generic views this is very interesting subject uh, generic views and uh, we need to mention the directly what is the query set which you are getting the data from the database what is the serializer class permission class like that you can uh, there is a predefined uh, the variable names which we can use it uh, directly you can write class and just mention the field names that way it works and similarly uh, we can also use it uh, for like uh, if you want to list the data we can use the list 
and if you want to delete and we can use the delete operations you can see here there is a list api retrieve api and destroy api update api this is nothing but CRUD operations and of course i'm going to show you everything in practical we will see that how we can explore it right this is just i am giving an idea types of the views and the last one is the view sets which is very important uh, we should understand in terms of Django REST framework and the view sets dot view set there is an there is a separate class which we need to inherit here and there is a list and retrieve and destroy there is a methods here but these view sets we need to call from the routers default routers I will show you that practical uh, how we can work on these view sets in the next upcoming video right so this is just a overview which i'm giving now in the next video we can see that uh, how we can write these views practically i'm going to make a couple of videos uh, for these uh, views first we'll start with the class based views then after that we'll move on to the generic views again after that we'll move on to the finally view sets then uh, again come back to the serializations and we'll implement the remaining serializers this is the way like we can get more idea about Django REST framework API. So let me know if you have any questions or anything uh, you stuck with some some issues. Uh, I like to help you and uh, thank you so much for watching this video.